Hi, I'm Megan Walker and we have reached the letter Q in the A to Z of real-time marketing and this is all about questions on the preference page. So we have touched on a few things that tie into this such as the consent center in real-time marketing and now what we're going to do is look at the questions that are asked on a specific page when someone clicks on the link at the bottom of their email, whether you call it unsubscribe, update preferences, whatever, that link that is added to the bottom of an email sent from a real-time marketing journey, what that page looks like and how you can slightly customize it. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so we are in the real-time marketing area. Um, we're not gonna stay here. We're actually going to go into settings and then from settings, we're going to go into the compliance area. Now, in the letter O, we looked at outbound consent, which is also found on the compliance um, area. But this time we're gonna look at the preference page. Okay, so the preference page, again, remember, if you think about outbound marketing, and you could create a beautiful subscription list page, so basically somebody, a subscription center rather, so you basically could create your marketing form and have all of the different subscription lists that someone could possibly opt in and out of, you can make a lovely little form that you fit into your website. At the moment, you cannot do that for real-time marketing. So, if someone was to ask me the thing that I'm most disappointed about at the moment, it is this. Um, so, again, what happens when somebody clicks on a link from the bottom of their email, they're gonna go to a page. So, if I open up an email where I've got a link, um, if I click on it, then what we're going to see is something that I'm, it's a little bit disappointing. So we've got uh, a title at the top and then what we're, what we're displaying is we're basically displaying based on the person that received the email, we're displaying their email address and also if they have a phone number, we're displaying that as well. So we can say, we are basically saying, yes, I want to receive promotional emails. Um, yes, I'd like to see, receive text messages, selected or deselected. Um, and then also, am I allowing tracking of email interactions or tracking of text? text message interactions. So are you going to give someone the ability to say yes or no to getting, uh, for you to actually track and see, did they open, did they click on links? So if somebody says, uh, leaves it like this, we're basically saying, no, I don't want you to know when I've interacted with emails, which from a marketing perspective, can then be a little bit challenging to know, okay, well, if I want something to trigger in a journey based on someone clicking on something or opening something, that means that we've removed the ability to do that if, if a customer doesn't actually opt in for those. So that's what the page looks like. So if I close that and I go back into the compliance area and the preference page, so there's that marketing permissions example, so that page title. So I can go in and change that and I could say update your preferences and then description I could say please let us know like to receive communication from us. So then what we've got is the allow email description. So we have the thing that shows a statement, I would like to receive email communication. And then we could have something that's underneath that as a description. Um, so rather than saying we'll send information on product updates and promo campaigns, we can say we will send you our latest deals and discounts or whatever the organization does. Um, then we've got the same for SMS. So if you're going to be doing text messages, what's the description that you want to say? Um, you could say, uh, get uh, top deals uh, quickly by opting in for text messages from us. Uh, then we've got the allow tracking description. So if we've got this where we're going to um, actually ask somebody and, and make it so that somebody has the ability to say, I don't want you to be tracking my interactions, then this is going to be that description that will show. And then finally, we have a section where we can go ahead and put in some legal text. So this, you can actually do um, hyperlinks. So we could say, uh, okay, well, we're asking and saying, or we're saying by submitting the form you agree to the um, 
policy and terms and services so I could actually do a link to something um, if that existed uh, so I can go ahead and click OK and then that's made it a hyperlink um, then what we've got is there's going to be a drop-down list um, that is basically going to ask someone okay what's the reason why um, and we might say why have you changed your preferences preferences um, and then uh, information that shows uh, basically when we get to the thank you page uh, thank you we've updated your consent information and then finally if there's an error something happens what's going to be displayed there so if I go ahead and save that and then what I've got at the bottom is you can preview an example of it so if I go ahead and click that it will open up in a new tab and now instead of seeing the example we see update your preferences so we see everything that I put in there um, and Again, I find it a little bit disappointing because things like this where I've got this um, drop down list um, and I have to I have to check and see if that is a specific option set or where that's coming from. Um, so I'll have a look and then I'll update in the description if I find but that one everything else I cannot change it. I can't put anything in the background. I can't put any images at the top. So hopefully that will change and hopefully Microsoft will update that and provide the ability to make this more of a customized, almost like a combination between having your um, subscription center where you can make it look beautiful and then embed it into a page so you don't need to do any of that branding or at least give us the ability to brand this page a little bit. So fingers crossed that's coming soon. So then if I go back to my email with the link and I go and click on the link, we're going to see the same thing, we're going to see updated. If I then go ahead and tick that box to say, okay, yes, I would like to get this. Yeah, sure, you can track my email interactions and my text message interactions. And now we've got, why have you changed your preferences? So I might say, um, opt-in, and it was because I was in a, at an event. And then I'm going to go ahead and submit it. Here's another thing that uh, if I had to rate it, I would rate it low. Um, I'm not a fan of this, even though I know you might say, oh, emojis, I should be a fan. No, I'm not. So again, this is an area where I would like to be able to customize this or even better, essentially have this the way in which a regular marketing form works or su the subscription center form works and be able to embed. And then I can choose to redirect to an actual branded page on my website. So not an area that I'm a fan of. It's an area that definitely uh, feedback has been given, so hopefully we'll get a change to it at some point. Um, but this is what we have to work with at the moment. So, would love to know your thoughts and your comments. Um, also, have you started using this? And in which case, how are you handling it? How have you addressed it? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.